Babe, signal sucks. We'll pick this up later. Message sent. Man, you. Don't you dare spend your last nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that, Teddy. <laughs> I asked Serge for his autograph. And then his phone number. Right it right on the ball. That'll be nicer to him. Jean? Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. Wait. I smell... Is that breakfast? What happened to him? Jean. <laughs> You've barely touched your plate, my love. Go on, have some more. Your body needs the vitality for action. Can she see him? Now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government issued pistols. Plastic handles? Shh. Give me checkered walnut any day. Okay. I got this. Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. Gotta find the source of that. Simply must find that gun. I'm gonna need to get up in that attic. Guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. English? Anglais? Real smooth, Cass. Maybe Delphi can help. Moot a pas Password. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. a child, the house unsettled me a bit too. It's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. Sake. Where is that gun? Locked. Of course. 
course. Connecting to a live community user. Hey there, Cassie. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Just started using this app. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, happy to help. Just waiting for the image to come through. Okay, there it is. Looks like a lockbox. Oh, yeah, there's a little latch on the side there. Kind of hard to notice. Once you flip that, it should open. I'll be in your contacts now, so hit me back whenever. Okay. school now? <laughs> Connecting to a live community user. See, Daddy, I hope your dear old friend can help a gal out. Come on, Corporal Roger Del Rey, I'm counting on you. <clears throat> dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? Father would be proud of me. Back to the drawing board. Go get him, Betty. That can't be good. I do. When I find that gun, I am going over there. And there will be hell to pay! Felicia was paranoid about her baby. Is the house making Betty paranoid about what's happening to Jean overseas? Chantal. Maybe this would work at the door.
I understand the stress is a war puts on a man, Jean, so don't get all bent out of shape. Take whatever comfort you need. I'm sorry I haven't found the gun yet, but I'll get it to you no matter what. I'm coming. Just you wait. Mother stowaway is such a harsh word. I know. Father always said if the, I know. Father always said that the cargo holds are never policed. I j Yes. Alright, I promise. No, you do not need to come here. No, you do not need to come here. It's just ever since I found father's gun, I So she found the gun. don't you? We never read many books, just listened to father's war stories. Made me want to go out on an adventure of my own. Are they enough, Jean? Your books, do they make you feel alive? Delphi, text to speech. switchboards. How about this? Be a doll and take a few photos. There's a morale boost to beat the band. At night when I kneel to say my prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. 
We're going to make a family someday, you and me, you'd said. Inside that chest are our dreams, Jean. And keeping them safe on our end. So you do your duty over there and we'll be right as rain soon enough. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. a little longer, Jean. I know this isn't real, but the pain sure is. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Little elbow grease at the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means forest. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. I should really check out that attic. Practice, practice, practice. You don't need fancy tools to disassemble your gun. Use the cartridge here as a screwdriver. Yes, Jean, just like I showed you. Now let's get a stopwatch and have some fun. My luck has finally turned around. I received a phone call from the Silver Star Line, and it turns out I won a trip to Europe. <laughs> I'll be boarding the flagship Silver Star next week, and we'll soon be crossing the ocean to come find you. Hang tight. I will be on my way in no time. Faithfully, Betty. Morse code. I know this. Hang on a sec. Betty, I am coming home. Jean is coming? On my way home. Uh, honorable discharge. Love you. Shit, she can't get on that boat. He's coming back. That must be why she hasn't heard from him. I better find my way.
way to that foghorn instead. I solved it. Many of the sailors in town bought her herb sachets. I laughed at the notion of a man wanting to smell sweet, but then I was told they were for protection. Old Tully would sworn it was one of her sachets that kept his ship afloat in a wretched squall. He clutched it to his chest like a cross. again. 